Alrighty Mormons, this is Travis Wayne Goodsell, and uh, here we're going to talk about 1 Nephi chapter 14 verse 10. Uh, and this is Nephi's dream that he's having, and uh, this is the angel talking to him. And uh, the angel says unto Nephi, Behold, there are save two churches only. The one is the church of the Lamb of God, and the other is the church of the devil. Wherefore, whoso belongeth not to the church of the Lamb of God, belongeth to that great church, which is the mother of abominations, and she is the whore of all the earth. Now, of course, Mormons, you think your church, the Brighamite church, is the true church. The Church of the Lamb of God. Despite all my videos showing that you're not. But then who is the true Church of God? You're getting off track. You're not dealing with the core issue that this is presenting. You're not doing your scripture study properly. What is the context? This was written before the establishment of the church. Before. Remember? According to the narrative that the church puts out, Joseph had been working on it for quite a while. Oh yeah, I've got lunch going. <laughs> and uh, it took you know a few years to translate the book by looking into a hat with stones according to Martin Harris according to Martin Harris not according to Joseph Smith Martin Harris that's key to understanding the history and what really happened and so there was no church of God on the face of the earth And so, are you unfamiliar with Joseph Smith's first vision, talking with Jesus in his dream? Yes, dream. I've already done that. Look up Numbers chapter 12. Uh, okay, so, now let's go to Joseph Smith history. Bum, 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 bum. In verse 19 of the Joseph Smith history, which is just one chapter, I was answered that I must join none of them, none of the churches on the earth at that time. For they were all wrong. And the personage who addressed me said that all their creeds were an abomination in his sight talking about Jesus who addressed me and said oh man that those professors were all corrupt that they draw near on near to me with their lips but their hearts are far from me they teach for doctrines the commandments of men having a form of godliness but they deny the power thereof and I've gone over that and how Mormons are falling prey to these doctrines of commandments of men. Can't judge me. Takes two to tango. We'll have to agree to disagree. He again forbade me to join with any of them. Even though Joseph Smith then went in the history records in the Methodist Church as having joined the Methodist Church and then was excommunicated because there was this thing of looking into hats with stones in them. And he sort of saw that as witchcraft. 
and so they didn't want his kind in their church. And then uh, the famous line, talking to his mother, I have learned for myself that Presbyterianism is not true. So let me pause, let me get my food off, or warm it, I guess, while I talk and finish this video. Okay, so what makes a church a true church? Well, one, having the keys, and you'd have to go to Numbers chapter 12 to find out how God gives the keys. But it's not because you have the name. Yes, there's that Book of Mormon passage, uh, which I think even is in the, uh, the New Testament. Some are for Apollos and others for so-and-so. But, uh, yeah, if it's the Church of Paul, then you need to call it after Paul. If it's the Church of Moses, after Moses, etc., etc. So Mormons think that they're pretty clever because they got to have the name of Jesus Christ in the middle of their name title. But the other branches of the Mormon church also kept uh, Jesus in their name, if not Christ. <clears throat> and so, again, what makes the Brighamite church the true church over those other branch offs of Mormonism? Oh, because Brigham Young was the true prophet called of God? No, I've already done the video. Brigham Young did not follow the proper process in section 107 of the Doctrine and Covenants. And they totally messed that up. So again, what makes Mormons the true church? And what makes others everyone else the church of the devil because you know that when you hear stories about Pennsylvania all 300 uh, Catholic parishes or whatever they refer to them as uh, all of the the fathers pastors of each of those uh, parishes were all guilty of sex trafficking child sex trafficking and so Mormons you looked at that and went yep see that's what the rewards of evil are that just shows you that that's not God's true church but then what about Mormons we have a bishop involved in sex trafficking same thing as the Catholics Oh, but it's just one. No, there's been over 300. Since, I don't remember what date, but the church has had to battle off numerous sexual assault claims. Last year, there was the, uh, the uh, primary teacher who had little get-togethers at his house or slumber parties and was involved in sexual assault with his primary kids and then the BYU police withholding information regarding sexual rapes and assaults at BYU and so they're now under review in order to hand over all the information but then there's the whole state of Utah that refused to process the rape kits so they had a backlog and I think they finally got to that in 2017 but the majority of those the statute of limitations ran out and I did my video the other day yesterday I think about how rape is not just rape it's a violation of a woman's life liberty and property it's a serious assault there shouldn't be statute of limitations on that. 
if it's legitimate. But you need a court to determine legitimacy, not cops screening cases. And so then we find out, oh, the state of Utah had on their books since the days of Mormon control, slavery. So a few weeks ago, last month, I guess, slavery finally got taken off of the Utah Constitution. Finally. They still practice it, but at least they don't say the word anymore. And then yesterday, last night, it was revealed that an old law also to chain a woman in labor, which not only hurt the woman giving birth, but also the baby inside. All of these archaic Utah laws that come straight from the church. And then we say, well, well, Brigham Young. Because that's who started it. His were worse. And by their fruits ye shall know them. I'm referring to prophets specifically, but anybody. You can know me by my fruits. What am I always doing? I'm trying to save Mormons from Mormonism. So am I a bad person or a good person? If you think that your church is the true church and that you don't have faults, and I'm not talking about errors, mistakes, human frailties. We're talking serious felony crimes abuses, inhumane treatment, tortures. That's not a mistake. A mistake is waking up in the morning and pouring orange juice on your cereal. That's a mistake. Denying someone of their life, liberty, and property That's evil. And so I had posted around an hour ago the video about the church ransoming Mormons for exaltation. And I gave you three witnesses. I didn't speak in that video. Three witnesses from three separate books of Scripture Isaiah, Jesus, in the Book of Mormon about the Zoramites. All testifying against any religion that would extort exaltation. And you know you are Mormons. It's in your Temple Recommend interview. That's why I put the question on there, number 10. Do you pay a full tithe? You are forced to pay money in order to go to the temple in order to receive the endowments necessary for exaltation. This is a no-brainer situation. The Mormon church draws near to Jesus with their lips saying we are Christian we believe in Jesus Christ and we have his name to prove it and yet what do they do with all the things that are going on against the church they prance off to Rome to build another 40 million dollar temple to extort the members, which are not near enough to justify a temple in Rome, but nevertheless, to force those members to pay in order to enter in and have the receipt of the salva salva saving ordinances for exaltation.
and they're going to talk all about it in conference. Just wait. Listen. They're going to tell you about, oh, it was a, an incredible thing. All of us, all, all of us prophets were there in Rome and we got our picture taken at the statues that were made for this temple. They're not going to tell you about the cost to the members of the church. that they have to pay up or they don't get saved. So, yeah, I have nothing nice to say about the church because as the Doctrine and Covenant says, contend against no church but the church of the devil. Now you know why I'm doing this. YouTube has been my platform to preach out against the Mormon Church. Because nobody cares about my Paleo-Hebrew stuff. Nobody cares about my government views. Nobody cares about Egyptian. You know, on Amazon, people are interested in Paleo-Hebrew. Period. <laughs> you know, I occasionally get other stuff that I've done. But Paleo-Hebrew dominates. The bulk of my royalties come from Paleo-Hebrew sales. And then uh, on my website, government, by far. And Egyptian, interestingly enough. But LDS Church? Eh. Here, LDS Church. Facebook, Twitter, can't do nothing with them there. They're not even worth my time, and I dropped them long ago before all the scandal hit the fan. So, you know, although I did get over several thousand likes from Egyptians <laughs> on my Facebook business page, <laughs> they're probably wondering where I am. <laughs> all right. So, I mean, Mormons, why are you raging against me? The facts are clear. Your church is false. It's not God's church. God does not run his church this way. He does not teach bishops to humanly traffic, sex traffic women, underage girls, or a primary teacher. He does not have his church president take away the high priesthood denying you exaltation, let alone that you're forced to pay money every month, 10% of your wages rather than a 10% of your increase annually. Completely different, but you know, hey, profits decided, no, we're going to make it wages. That's how it's now going to be defined. God doesn't do that. I gave you the example of what Jesus did. You do not sell and do merchandise for people to get in the temple. It's that simple. <coughs> so, all right, that's it for this one. Church is false. <laughs>